test your knowledge. The third chapter in functions is test your knowledge. Unlike the previous chapters where the users can test their own knowledge, this chapter is developed for the teacher or parent to input the function, and after that the blind and visually impaired users can calculate the needed information and proceed to find the zeros, minimums, maximums and the function on screen. To input the function, double tap the first button and insert the function into the scientific calculator. After tapping confirm, the function will be placed onto the coordinate system, but it will not be visible to the user. The user now has to find the zeros on the function, hold it, and with the other hand, tap the second zeros button. Philip will then tell the user that all the zeros have been found. By the same principle, the user has to find minimums and maximums, hold them, and with their other hand, double tap the third button. Now the user can use this point as a reference. Hold them with one finger, and with another finger, trace the function. The second way to trace the function is by holding the fourth button with one hand, and tracing the function with your other hand. If your function tracing is not accurate, the drawing will delete itself. You will have to start over until you draw the line correctly. To save the function, double tap the fifth button. And to load your previous saved functions, double tap the sixth button. You can also delete the function from the saved list by double tapping the seventh button.